In this video, you will learn how to specify the rigid bodies, fixed joints, hinge joints, sliding joints, and position controls for the necessary components of the robot station. We first click on the play button and see that the CAD model is static. There is no physical properties defined to this model. Now we isolate the robot from the robot station. And now click on the rigid bodies option in the mechanical section and specify the rigid bodies to the components which are needed to be specified. When we run the simulation, we see that the robot falls off the station. This is due to the property of rigid body. We also give rigid body properties to the housing to which the robot base is fixed. This makes it possible for us to give a fixed joint to the robot base. We select the attachment as a robot base and the base as the housing and click on OK. Now when we run the simulation, we see that the robot face is fixed to the housing but the rest of the robot falls off. This is due to the property of fixed joint which is assigned to the base of the robot. To the rest of the robot, we provide hinge joints. So first, click on hinge joints in the mechanical section and select the attachment. We specify the axis. and then specify the access point. This can be specified by the bottom edge of link one. Notice we don't select a base for this link. Now we select the attachment as link three and base as link two. And we specify the axis as shown. We specify the hinge joints to all the six joints. We repeat this process until we reach the TCP. Now when we start the simulation, we see that the robot does not fall off, but acts in this manner due to gravity. To cover a particular working area of a robot, we specify the upper and the lower limits of the hinge joints by specifying their angles. So we do this for each and every joint of the robot. Now we specify position controls from the electrical section to move an object along the axis to a desired location. The object selected in the position control is the hinge joint. We specify the position controls to haul the hinge joints which was created previously. Also do not forget to provide the speed for the position control. In this video, we develop and simulate the working operation of the gripper tool using Siemens NX Mechatronics Concept Designer. The opening and closing operation of the gripper tool is achieved by providing sliding joints and position control. In the sliding joint, we provide attachment as a movable part, in this case the right part, and the base as the fixed part, and we specify the axis vector to the right axis. 
we provide the upper limit as 6 mm and lower limit as 0 in this case. Similarly, we create another sliding joint for the left part of the gripper tool. Now let's create the position control. In the position control, we select the sliding joint of the right side and specify the destination as 0 and speed as 5 mm. We create another position control for the left sliding joint. Now let's create the opening and closing operations. Here we select the right position control. And specify 6 mm as position value for the opening operation. Similarly, we create another operation for the left position control and we create two more operations for closing the gripper tool and here we specify the position value as 1.5 now we can see the operations in the sequence editor let's create two groups one for the opening and another for the closing sequence. And we add the opening operations to open group and closing operations to close group. Now we need to create a signal to start these sequences. Let's create a signal as input and data type as integer value. Now let's create an operation and select this signal in conditions and provide value let's say one for opening similarly we create another operation and provide signal value as 2 for closing operation now we need to connect these conditions to operations by dragging the signal 1 operation to the opening operations and the signal 2 operation to the closing operations. Now let's see the simulation. As we can see, if we provide 1, the gripper tool is opening. And if we provide 2, the gripper tool is closing. In this way, we can create and develop the working operation of the gripper tool using Siemens NX Mechatronics Concept Designer. In this video, you will see how the inverse kinematics toolbox is used in an assembly task of a 6-axis industrial robot using Mechatronics Concept Designer. We select the inverse kinematics option from the electrical section. Here we select the TCP as the object and we specify the center of the TCP as the point.
We now add the pose by clicking the plus symbol in add new pose. You can now select the orientation as shown. You can also move the pose by dragging over an axis. Make sure to click on the add new pose to add the new pose specified by you. You can also change the orientation view to specify the path for your inverse kinematics. Once you have specified the required poses, click OK. When we start the simulation, you can see that the robot starts to move towards its specified poses. You can use the rotate option to check if the poses specified is as per your requirements. You can delete a pose by clicking on the pose and then the delete button. You can continue to define poses which are necessary for your task. Now when we start the simulation, we see that the robot moves to all the specified poses defined in the inverse kinematics. Each pose creates its own sequence in the sequence generator. You can see that a sequence is generated once you have confirmed the inverse kinematics. Here we have defined all the poses which are necessary for our assembly task. And now when we start the simulation, we can see that the robot performs the assembly task with respect to the poses defined in the inverse kinematics. Now let's look at the robot simulation and the sequence simultaneously. Each motion of all of the six joints of the industrial robot creates an operation of sequence in the sequence generator. Using the inverse kinematics in mechatronics concept designer, we simulate the assembly operation of the 6-axis industrial robot. Thank you for watching the video.